In this video, I will discuss the temporal experience of music, or the way music moves through time. Starting with the smallest unit, the beat, we will widen out to the largest structure, musical form. First, let's take the pulse of the music. The pulse or beat could be regular or irregular. It could change tempos or it could stop. Can you tap steadily throughout the music? We can visualize a steady beat with arrows, similar to the downward foot tap or the down gesture of a conductor's arms. We can call these downbeats. The beats are the upward motion of your toe tapping, an upbeat. It can be helpful to think of beats as a rectangular block or a Lego, or even as the division of inches along a ruler. Beats are divided in two ways, simple or compound. In simple beat division, each half of the beat is equal. When we divide each half again, each beat is subdivided. Here's the basic beat, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Another way that beats are divided is called compound. Compound meter divides beats into three parts. Compound meters have a rolling feel. Lots of Irish folk music uses compound meter, giving it a different lilt. Fats Domino also uses compound meter in Blueberry Hill. With arrows, we might call this down, up, up, down, up, up, or boom, chick, chick, boom, chick, chick. The tempo of a piece is determined by how much distance is between each beat. At a slower tempo, the beat can still be divided into simple or compound divisions or subdivisions, but the feel will be more spacious. Or at a faster tempo, they will feel more compact. Since around 1815, the invention of the metronome allowed composers to record the beats per minute where they would like their pieces performed. 60 beats a minute is one second. The steady pulse of the music is organized in cyclical repeating patterns. Groups of two, three, and four beats are commonly grouped together. These recurring groups are called bars or measures, and the overall pattern is called the meter. These groupings are audible, usually emphasized by an instrument, a chord change, or even by the rhyme scheme of the lyrics. The same number of beats can be organized in different ways. Two groups of three, one, two, one, two, one, two. Three groups of two, one, two, three, one, two, three, or in this slide, one and a half measures of four. One, two, three, four, one, two. The smallest unit of pulse or beat is organized into measures. These measures can be organized to form longer phrases. Phrases are sometimes called musical sentences. Since quadruple meter is the most common, I've used that in this slide, dividing the measures with a vertical bar line.
When we examine the 12 bar blues structure, we can see that there are four beats in each measure, four measures in each phrase, and three phrases in the structure. The Roman numerals represent the timing of the chords that are played throughout this structure. The entire 12 bars would be repeated several times throughout a song. The AABA form was used in Tin Pan Alley by songwriting duos who were trying to write a lot of music fairly quickly. Each of these phrases is eight bars long and the first, second, and last phrase will be very similar. Most of the popular music styles we will discuss will be a moderate tempo and quadruple meter. The majority of music is also four bar phrases or eight bar phrases, and you can use the lyrics to help you determine this. Music is only hearable retroactively. It will take several listenings and quite a bit of experimenting to come up with more details about the piece you are studying. Try counting out loud or tapping your fingers to try to determine how many beats are grouped together in a measure. Listen for sudden changes of feel and tempo or color and instruments. Anytime you hear that, it's probably a new section within the larger scale musical form. You can also use music that we've already studied to form an educated guess about the structure of the pieces.